Hi guys, welcome to another market news and updates. I'm your host Omi. Welcome to Omi Mess YouTube channel. Market ko dekhen to market has been very very bearish and sideways throughout the weekend. Bahut zyada boring. It's like going at a turtle space. Not much action going on. It seems more like a turtle's market than even a bull or a bear market right now. So maza apko side mein karte hain and let's check out some details. So agar hum log details mein dekhen BTC काफी टाइम से हैव बीन ट्रेडिंग इन द सेम रीजन एंड इट्स बीन काइंड ऑफ कंसोलिडेटिंग बिटवीन 36500 टू 38700 वी बीन रिजेक्टेड अ मल्टीपल टाइम्स फ्रॉम दिस रीजन ऑलरेडी द मार्केट हैज बीन वेरी वेरी बोरिंग बट दिस वीक एंड दिस मंथ वीकली कैन क्लोज एंड मंथली कैन क्लोज इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर अस इट्स गोना डिक्टेट टर्म्स वेदर द मार्केट इज गोना बिकम टोटली बेरिश इन अ लॉन्ग रन मतलब फॉर ईयर साल दो साल के लिए गई मार्केट वे जिस कना बी अ बेर और वे जिस कना हैव अ वेरी नाइस फ्लिप लाइक वी हैड लास्ट ईयर इन मे जून जुलाई वेर वी कंसोलिडेटेड इन दिस रीजन एंड देन वी हैड अन अदर अपसाइड रैली मार्केट में भी दो तीन किस्म के प्लेयर्स हैं वन प्लेयर हु सेंग के भाई सब कुछ बेरिच हो गया दिस इज द एंड नथिंग गुड इज कमिंग एन टाइम सून एंड देन वी ऑल्सो हैव प्लेयर्स हु आर लाइक मी हु आर एक्सपेक्टिंग सम काइंड ऑफ फ्लिप कमिंग वेरी वेरी सून कोस E2.0 है मार्केट में ई बर्न हो रहा है पॉलीगॉन मैटिक का फोर्क हो चुका है सारे पॉइंट्स की हाविंग अपग्रेडिंग एंड सारी चीजें जो है आजकल टॉप नॉच हो रही हैं टोटल टीवीएल्स बहुत हैं वी हैव एप्पल गूगल बिग बिग कंपनीज हेज फंड्स एंटरिंग इनटू मार्केट्स लाइक दिस तो एक बहुत ज्यादा एक न्यू वेव है न्यू एरा है सो आई एम श्योर वी कांट हैव अ न्यू एरा न्यू वेव विद गोइंग इनटू अ डप मार्केट मार्केट को टेक्निकली तो अभी जाना चाहिए एंड देयर सम इंटरेस्टिंग फैक्टर्स इज वेल व्हाई डू आई थिंक दैट इज पॉसिबल ट्रिप्टोग्रीड एंड फ्यू इंडेक्स के अंदर देखें तो वी कैन क्लियरली सी एस डे हम लोग काफी ऊपर आ गए थे वी बड़ा ट्वेंटी नाइन एंड मार्केट थोड़ा सा एक्सट्रीम फियर से निकल गए फियर में आ गई थी विच वॉज अ वेरी वेरी गुड थिंग बट देन वेर बैक अगेन एंड एक्सट्रीम फियर लेवल्स वर बैक इन ट्वेंटी एंड दिस इज ऑल्सो काइंड ऑफ ग्रीविंग अस एन आइडिया कि एक पॉसिबिलिटी है दैट वी कैन स्टिल कम बैक टू थर्टीन इलेवन ट्वेल्व टेन विच वी हैव डन बिफोर इन द बेस्ट एंड सींग आवर हिस्ट्री हिस्टोरिकल डेटा इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर अस कि हम लोग रेगुलरली जो है वो टेन इलेवन ट्वेल्व और इन डिफरेंट रीजन के ऊपर एटलीस्ट बार बार हिट करें कुछ दैस का ना गिवस एन आइडिया कि हम लोग सिमिलर ट्रैक के ऊपर चल रहे हैं फ्रॉम जून जुलाई ट्वेंटी वन और उससे हमें आइडिया होगा कि वी आर मेकिंग अ सिमिलर पैटर्न हियर एज वेल विच इज गना मेक अस अ गुड बेस फॉर अनादर अपसाइड रैली कमिंग वेरी वेरी सून लाइक आई सेट आई स्टिल बिलीव एन अपसाइड रैली हैज टू कम बिकॉज इज सो मच बुलिश न्यूज इन द मार्केट इट्स इम्पॉसिबल द मार्केट विल जस्ट रिमेन इन अ डम even though we know that the white house is going to be having an executive order which is going to bring a lot of heat into btc but btc was made to sustain things like this and this is going to be one of its toughest test ever crypto bubbles mein jaye to we can clearly see market to completely red hai a lot of coins are in pullback gala jaise coin which are good coins are about 9% down that is 11% down ftm is also about 11% down evax is about 10% down Luna has taken a massive hit because of the anchor protocol issue that we've had, the scam, how the secretary treasury has taken all the money away, and they were using a lot of Terra USD in that, and now Terra is gonna have a lot of issues, and we can clearly see that over the weekend that Terra took some massive hits, and it's already down about thirteen percent. Matic, we see Matic is also down about eight percent. So a lot of coins are battling very very hard right now. We are clearly seeing that the old coins are taking massive hit. As I see Bitcoin's dominance becoming sideways or having a pump as the market is having a pullback. So, if the market ke price is going down, Bitcoin ki to hum uski dominance ka increase dekh rahe hain. Aur jab Bitcoin ki price upar ja rahi hoti, to uski dominance sideways hona shuru hoti. Which is a very very um, unique and a different relationship jo bhi hum market mein experience kar rahe hain. We've seen it in several times before as well. But the timing of it now is very very unique and in a very different place. From previous history, so a lot of new things are also happening in Bitcoin, which is a, a learning curve for all of us, even me and also newbies, because it's still only ten years or about a decade now in the industry, and things are changing on daily basis, and we're regularly seeing massive changes coming as well. So the first news for us today is first move over Asia Bitcoin barely budging in weekend trading. Crypto trading was light and could remain so as. in asian markets as many investors celebrate the lunar new year holiday week so as we know 
China may, Southeast Asia may, around Asia, we're having a Chinese New Year Lunar Festival right now. So a lot of the markets are closed and also we don't have investors interest in the market as well. Market can do investor, especially Asian investor, he's already gone for holidays to celebrate uh, Chinese New Year. So he's not going to be paying as much attention to the market or even likely for investing and taking some quick trades right now. Wo to abhi market chodke totally chala gaya. So market maybe already have a massive gap which we had from China banning earlier this year and now America may be issues are here. So we're going to be seeing massive gaps coming in the market with an investor free flow paisa lagata tha Bitcoin ke open cryptocurrencies. He won't be able to do that anymore. So things are going to be very very difficult for him and other people as well. The next news we have is also from related to China since we are already discussing Chinese New Year. So China plots nationwide blockchain development over real world use cases. Some of the key areas of the blockchain development including manufacturing, energy, government data sharing and services, law enforcement, taxation, criminal trials, inspection and cross border finance. So this is a very very good initiative taken by China where they're going to be creating a nationwide blockchain developing themselves so they can control different sectors of their government and economy which is going to bring a lot of flourishing into their economy and also as different segments of the society because if you are not going to have a lot of criminal trials you're going to have a strong law enforcement using blockchain data it is definitely going to be bringing a very very good system into any kind of society that's going to be practicing and using blockchain as we have seen even in COVID-19 the one the countries use uh, for trace and track for COVID vaccination. It was a very, very successful model and resulted in very fine results because it was so fast and obviously also had an artificial intelligence operation involved in it. The last news we have for us today is top five cryptocurrencies to watch this week. BTC Link, HNT Flow and Harmony One. BTC is attempting to form a bottom while Link, HNT Flow and One are showing early signs of accumulation. So if we jump into BTC's chart, we can clearly see there's a high chance, very high possibility we jump into one day time frame that we are hoping that we are doing something similar of that we have done from May 17th and all the way till about July 20th. We expect something similar to be going on here as well, though we are still falling, which we didn't do much here. We just had a massive dump here in a few days and we had started making a bottom. But things are different here because also we have a lot of hedge funds. We have metaverses we have play to earn this so much has changed while we were here we had early adoption at that time and now there are massive companies massive metaverses massive concerts and things that are actually happening that people were talking about here actually happened here so now we can expect some uh, consolidation to be going on here for some time so let's jump in and see whether link can do what the expectation is from link over this week if i check out link link is in a strong weekly downtrend though we are taking support from our weekly uptrend line which is a very very good sign and it is pumping it is having a good sign so our resistance now is coming about at 25 to 26 dollars roughly so we can expect and can monitor it for the next few days and see whether it's going to have a very good upside coming or not next one we had is hnt and see whether hnt can give us similar returns or any kind of action coming in HNT as well. If you don't know about HNT, HNT is one of the best tokens out there, especially giving Wi-Fi and very famous company giving the trying to solve global warming issues using blockchain and providing Wi-Fi and different kind of mining issues as well. So if we look at HNT, HNT looks very beautiful. The chart hasn't been made. I just opened it up so we can see HNT had a double top and made a bottom already. And now it's trying to begin to have some kind of consolidation for now it has a small bull flag going on but obviously we have to wait for today's candle to close uh the upside is pretty good we have 59 so this can be a resistance here about 44 to 36 dollars so there's a good margin right now of about 10 dollars that we can see a massive upside coming in it so if we jump into one harmony and see what is going on in one harmony of very strong weekly downtrend line right now so we are consolidating here if we do get close to it and have a breakout though we can come to the resistance zone which is about 0 0.22523 so these coins do look very very interesting anything is possible right now but overall i would like to stay away from new coins or new investment right now i'll just consolidate my investments do my dollar cost averages in the market and just wait for this week to completely finish and the reason for that is that we need this week to finish completely before deciding anything huge or thinking i'm going to do this i'm going to do that and then this is going to happen and that 
so first for all this to that to happen we gotta wait to see our weekly and monthly close so we jump into our weekly close in my accumulation resistance band and support band chart we can see that we had a nice uh, green weekly candle close but now we've started the week with red so we have another seven days to summarize this week while the my concern right now is the biggest one is the monthly the monthly isn't looking so nice but we have had one two three previously as well here so we can expect maybe we're having a similar pattern for now and the next week itself because we're also going to be having a moon phase coming so i think the next two three days are very 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 important so yeah so we also have a moon phase coming we had a bottom moon already every time we have a top moon usually that's the top of that two weeks and then we usually likely dump so what i'm expecting right now is this a very likeliness that we're gonna have the moon coming here tomorrow and then we're gonna probably dump and consolidate in some way yeah i really want to touch the accumulation zone again the bottom of it and likely probably have a fear level going back to 10 11 12 because like i keep saying we need to go and have a sideways action for some time for the market to decide what it really wants to do so if we see in this one also we have moon accumulation it's perfectly sitting in the accumulation zone hopefully hopefully things do get better from here now comes where is the bottom a lot of people keep asking me what the bottom is in where is the bottom let me just clear cut tell you that nobody in the world knows where the bottom is everybody uses technical analysis and the information and the data together to analyze whether this can be a bottom or not like i am right now thinking probably with my information and the information i've gathered just discussed with you about previous information the data here that this could be an accumulation zone i'm also not 100 percent sure i'm also guessing and trying and thinking and that's how technical analysis works so they're going to be a 95 percent chance you're going to be right and five percent chance that you're going to be wrong and we cover the balance of this with on-chain data fundamental analysis technical analysis and what is the latest updates news from the blockchain itself i think these three four factors make a massive difference if you can gather all this information and you have it with your with you you can definitely become a mass really really good trader so that's all for today's video guys and do suggest what do you guys think whether the bottom is in or not and suggest that in the comment section whatever you suggest i'm definitely going to reply and have a look at it so take care guys don't forget to subscribe to my channel smash the like button and share the video with your friends if you would love to which is going to push the video with our youtube's algorithm and it's going to keep me motivated and keeps me keep going and keep making these videos for you guys so take care guys that's all for today bye bye gate.io is one of the best exchanges around the world gate.io offers us some of the high rewards in competitions worthying from 2 million dollars to almost 200,000 on Forbes advisor list best crypto exchange 2022 was given to gate.io the most famous function for gate.io is copy trading which is very very famous and a lot of people use it on daily basis where you can trade from experienced traders and copy their trades and earn easy rewards by somebody else doing your trades and you're just copying them instantly you also have very famous pairs available on gate.io from ethereum usdt btc usdt to many prominent other coins as well one of the best functions for gate.io is, is the nft box where we can keep ourselves updated with the most famous nfts around different blockchains and different projects for further information you can always go down in the description and join my referral link and join gate.io today